you know, out of some corners you'd be, you know, at 150 mile an hour and the thing would be spinning sideways and wheeling at the same time. Oh man, I got away with it that time. I better not try that again. And he was just going through there and the next thing you know it, it made this rut and it just spit him like three stories in the air. And I watched him come down and I hit. And, I, and after I saw that, I thought, I don't know if I want to ride one of those things. It's not like golf where you, next day you get up and, and you, you, your swing is different. Down. You know, it's a life or death situation. You know, sometimes you get in over your head and you don't make it back. These guys rode the unrideables. I had a bone taken out of my hip and put in my, my heel with seven screws in it and people were saying that I was on vacation. The leg was dying. I mean, it was black and rotting, smelt. And in the end, they had to sew his legs together to, so that the left leg would save the right leg. And if you beat Rainey and Team Roberts, you'd basically beaten everybody else. So it was a fairly simple strategy to work out. Yeah, the start of the super team, or the evil empire, as it became known. Well, I, I can answer this question honestly, and I don't think I'd have ever survived a, a Grand Prix riding for Kenny Roberts. It was a tremendous rivalry between Kevin and Wade. There was huge, I mean, verging on hatred. Somebody will say, watch this video. I was like, I've got it, it's, it's, it's in the memory bank. I passed him too soon. I got such a run on him. And now that I've got this thing moved into a position about like this, I gotta try and start stopping it. And he'd leave me out of that turn and, and um, it sucked. You can't do that on a bike. You can't do that to Wayne Rainey. That's probably the closest that he and I have ever come to standing up and throwing punches. When Kevin beat Wayne, God, it was just like, uh, man, you just. Oh, you know, the helmet might fly around the garage a bit. Kenny said to me a, a number of times, he said, if you'd have signed for me, you would have won another three or four world titles. Yeah, Wayne's accident, I don't think anybody... I kind of remember it like it was yesterday. Who was there or involved at that time will ever forget it. You know, it was the end of an era. I knew these things can happen. You're unbelievable. You know, I was... I was prepared to accept whatever... however it turned out. You're so unbelievable. Well, I lost my best buddy. Schwantz was never the same again. I could have walked away easy at the end of 93. They were beasts to ride.